Okay, I'm recording this video for a friend, but uh, I want to make it for anyone who wants to do some digital scrapbooking. I'm using Photoshop Elements, and I'm just going to begin what I do when I start a page. The very first thing I do is I go up to the file, I say New, Blank File, and I go in here. Mine defaults to the 11 by eight and a half <clears throat> in landscape mode. You can change it to 12 by 12. You can change it to eight and a half by uh, 11 in vertical mode, but I prefer to do mine in landscape. I like a transparent background. You can change it to white if you'd like. And I don't name it in the beginning. And I leave all these other, the resolution and the RGB and everything, I leave those the same. Make sure it's in inches over here. If you're in the US and you're watching this, we usually do our things in inches. And then you just say, okay. And what you have is your, is your, basically your blank canvas right there. And make sure that you have down here at the bottom, you have lay, your layers selected so that your layers show up over here because it's the most important thing is to work with the layers. Now what I do when I'm going to begin a scrapbook page, I start bringing in the items that I might want to work with. Everything that I have for my genealogy is already digitized. Old photos, census records, birth, death, marriage, wills, everything and anything is already digitized and has been for years. And I have them in folders. So I will go to my folder let me bring this over to this screen. And I'll go up here and we'll just go with my gold folder. Go in here to gold. And we'll go to pictures. And let's go to the view here and view large icons. And we'll just grab somebody here. We'll grab my gray. Okay, so I'm going to drag this up here just a little bit. And I'm going to bring down my great-grandmother to the photo bin. There she is. And it should show on the screen right there. Because you've gone off the canvas now. There you are on the canvas. And now you're on the picture that you just put in. You can go up here to view and have it, where is it? fit on screen. There you go. Now let's go back to my photos again. Let's drag in another photo right here. This is my great grandmother with her sons. Now let's go back to, let's get census record and let's get the, let's see, where are they? The 1900 census and I'm going to drag that down here. So if I click on it, there's the 1900 census showing the family. There's the other pictures that I've just dug in. And then let's see if I can go back over to my Explorer and I can go to a marriage record. See if I can find a marriage record for May. And let's see, May, marriage to James Connor. Where the heck is the marriage of William and May? There is the question, Lori B. Theater. Well, all right, let's just drag in any marriage. We're just going to say, okay, here's a marriage. We're just going to drag it in. Because I like to have different documents to work with. So then you go to your canvas and you say, hmm, I can put this picture up here. I'll put this picture over here. Oh, and you want to move, so one picture is underneath the other, so you want to go up here to the pointer, and you see the bounding boxes on that picture? That allows you to work with that picture. How do you know which picture you're working with? You go over here to layers. Whichever one is highlighted in blue, that's the photo you're going to find the bounding boxes around. That's the photo you work with. 
you want to work with the other photo, you click on it and you come over here and you move that around. Go back to the photo bin and then you drag up a document. Again, it's highlighted in layers. You've got your bounding boxes here and you can make it smaller if you like. Put that up there, check. Go back to your photo bin, drag in the marriage. Let's just put the marriage right, doesn't really matter, does it? Okay, I'm gonna put that there. So now you have some documents there, but what's gonna go in the background? Well, for that, I would go down to, I would go back to my Windows Explorer, and I would go to scrapbooking, and I would go to the backgrounds. And this is where I have, <clears throat> I'm a little embarrassed to say, 1,085 different items. So let's just pick a background for this that we'd like to put there. Let's just pick this one. Okay, and again, it comes up on the screen because you can see it's highlighted down here. What do you want to do? You want to go back to your canvas, which is right over here. Go right here to your canvas. Now, let's go over here to that background, drag it up here, and now you can see it's there. It's got the bounding boxes around it but it doesn't cover the whole screen, the whole canvas. So you're gonna stretch it out like that and cover the canvas. Oh, and do your check mark down here. Oh gosh, look, it's covering up three of the four items I put up there. So how do we fix that? Go over here to the layers. You can see this is the layer that you're working on because you can move it around, you can do whatever you want with it and you take that layer and you drag it down underneath all of those items. You want to leave it on top of the canvas, but under the items. That's how you manipulate all of your items, is moving them in layers, up and down, forward and back. Uh, you pick what item you want to work with. You can pick this picture of my great grandma. You can tilt it, go over here, you can put a frame around it, you can go down to styles, you can put a drop shadow behind it, right there. There's just whatever you want to do, go back to layers, you're going to work with everything in layers. What if you want to put another background, like on top of that one? Go down here, go to, sorry, go to your backgrounds, and doesn't really matter, does it? So we'll just bring in this one. Okay, go back to your canvas, drag this up there. Now maybe what you want to do with this is you want this to be in the middle or over to one side or maybe up here in the corner. You want to drag it up like that. You can do anything you want with it. You can just, like I say, just put it in the middle. But look again, you can see it's covering up some items. Look over here in layers. That's because it's here with one, two, three items and the other background are all underneath it. Click check. Take this item, drag it down underneath the documents and there it is under the documents. So you could actually make it a little background for your census. If you drag the corners of any item, it keeps the constraints on that item. So you could do that. And then you have a little frame behind it. And then to put text in, this will be the last thing I'll cover right now. Click on the T, come over here, I'll go up here. Put the text box up here. Click on it. And I'm going to drag it down right now. Just put it right there. I'm going to go back to the text layer. The text layer is now, doggone it, it's, there it is, okay. It's down 